Hello viewers, I am Will Keith and I am here today to test and review the Cold Steel Brooklyn Smasher baseball bat. This was recently sent to me by David Bryant. It was a Christmas gift and if you remember him, I did the uh, birthday video for his brother. He sent me some stuff before. Really cool guy. So thank you so much, David. This thing's amazing and I'm really glad I could finally test it out. Like I said in my couple of previous videos and streams, I've been sick. It's been cold as fuck, so I haven't been making many videos. But now I'm going to test this thing out. So, before I uh, get to it, like I said, Cold Steel Brooklyn Smasher baseball bat. It's, uh, un it says unbreakable baseball bat. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Let me come a little bit closer. Brooklyn Smasher unbreakable baseball bat. Cold Steel Athletics. I don't know if that's like a line they do if they have other athletic equipment, but um, really I think it's just designed as a uh, sort of self-defense weapon because it's not wood. It's uh, polyethylene, I think. It says it somewhere on here. Or doesn't. I guess it said it on the... I guess it said it on the box it was in. Um, well, the packaging. But it's uh, polyethylene. It's a sort of plastic, really strong. Same stuff that their uh, bow can are made out of, but it should last. Baseball bats are kind of the um, definitive home defense melee weapon because they're legal in every U.S. state. There's absolutely no way you can get in trouble for owning a baseball bat. And as everybody should know, it's a very efficient weapon. It weighs as much as any standard baseball bat. And I'm going to get on with the uh, smashing. So obviously I have a cinder block here. But um, I think I'm actually going to do a couple of smaller things first. I'm going to take this block, set it down. Many people know when you're talking about bottle cutting with a blade, lots of times people fail to cut the bottles and just send them flying. And they call that hitting it like a baseball bat or like you're swinging a baseball bat. But today I actually have a baseball bat. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm opening the bottle slightly and I'm going to be striking them and i should be able to recover them because due to the cold the uh little patch of trees here is actually relatively thin so that shouldn't be much of an issue so here we go i also got my camera here so i got to be careful not to hit that I'm trying to think of how i should hit it i don't i don't know baseball i don't know which way i'm supposed to stand i guess i'll uh do the same thing i do with the sword that was a joke Damn, that exploded. Yeah, I should be able to get that, no problem. Got another one here. You thought my form was bad with the sword. Anybody who plays baseball probably wants me dead after that. <laughs> okay. On to the real test. Come on, get in there. Oh, wow, there's water all over the camera. Uh, let me make sure that's lined up all right. I can't really see. What the fuck? Yeah. All right, it's going. Sorry about that. You might notice the uh, yellow I have on my sleeves here. This is actually the uh, Kill Bill outfit that I was wearing when I was on Tosh.0. So if you want to see me look like that, uh, go ahead and Google search Tosh.0 Bottle Ninja and you should be able to see me in the whole getup here. I figured um, it's a little bit cold for just a t-shirt, but I want like a full range of motion so I don't want to wear a full jacket. This thing's a little bit lopsided. Get over there. All right. Now, I know that this is going to grind up the bat. It's not going to break it, but it's going to mess up the surface, which is kind of sad. But, you know, the way she goes in my line of work here. I don't know if I'm going to get it in one hit, but I'm going to try. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, man.
That really hurt my fucking hand. That hurt my hand a lot. Ouch. Oh, God. You can, uh, see it took a chunk out of it there. Didn't break the whole thing. And I'm not positive if I'm willing to do that again. The bat definitely lost that fight. You got a uh, concrete powder all buried in there. Oh man. I mean, it survived, but the sticker's messed up. Not too good. Look at the, uh, can you see the dust coming off the bat? Oh fuck, I don't want to do this again. I don't, that hurt. I'm gonna try kind of grabbing it with my sleeve, maybe. Let me rotate a little bit. Oh, that wasn't fun. Jesus, fuck. Oh, the things I do for love. I know I'm not gonna hit it as hard as I can again because I, I'm anticipating the pain. And I'm trying to like put that out of my head and really just swing for the fences. But fuck. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh! I didn't drop the bat that time, but... Jesus, that is horrifying. Mm. I don't think I'm gonna do that again. And I highly recommend you don't do that either. My hand's like shaking. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that I laugh at pain. At least my wire is okay. Uh, this camera is like all leaning back. I don't know if that got any footage of me hitting it, but... Yeah, if you're smashing cinder blocks, I, uh... I really highly fucking recommend that you just stick with the Warhammer. Because, ow. Just, ow. Maybe if I had good gloves on, I would be able to do that a little bit better, but... I don't. And that was not fun. Not fun at all. But... You know, gist of it, the bat held up, got a little bit of surface damage, the sticker is completely fucked, but that's fine. I'll uh, just stick these here on the duct tape for now. Like, the video maker in me wants to do it again, but the human being who doesn't like suffering absolutely does not want to do it again. Uh, I'm not going to do it again. It, it would be stupid. I'm not going to get through it, but fuck. Oh my god. Hang on. I'm not actually hitting it right now, obviously. I mean, I am hitting it, but not hard. I'm just trying to see if maybe I want to do this again. I would love to get it to break. Oh, God damn it. That did it. <laughs> that one didn't actually hurt anywhere near as much. Fuck, that was awful. That was fun. I hope you guys watching me, I hope you guys enjoy watching me suffer. All right guys, you just saw me successfully smash the cinder block. I'm holding the camera like this now because it ran out of uh, storage space actually and it cut off. So I'm just gonna kind of wrap this up in the time I got left after deleting a couple of older videos. So uh, thanks for watching everybody. That wasn't very fun. I mean, it was fun hitting a thing, but like fucking ouch. Uh, hopefully I got some decent footage though, and I'm going to kind of edit it together with the other camera and go ahead and upload it. Um, you'll be seeing a new video sometime soon afterwards. I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff out here now that the uh, weather's kind of calmed down. It is supposed to snow tomorrow, but hopefully it won't be that bad. Now i got to go get those bottles that I knocked into the woods, and I'm going to go on in. So thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you so much for sending me this bat, David. 
I hope to be able to put it to some better use in a video in the future because that was not too fun. <laughs> Alright, so again, thanks for watching. See you next time. End video.